I'm on it's lovely weather for us. They ride together with you. Mess up my carpet. This thing is heavy. We have more. But wait, we have even more. I definitely went on a Christmas shopping spree. <laughs> Do I have regrets? Uh, maybe. So I went shopping, I, it's been a couple of weeks now, so you guys know how it works. Sometimes I forget what I buy, I get really excited about it. It's the holiday season! These earrings are loud. Are they loud for you or just me because they're right next to my ears? Can we talk about them for a second though? Aren't they the cutest earrings you've ever seen? Hold on, you need to see them both at the same time. They move and it's Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus. I love them so much. I got them from Target. I actually ordered them. Oh, I'm already sweating. I ordered them offline a week ago. I was waiting for them to come in before I, <laughs> I filmed this video. I said I need my Christmas earrings. They're the cutest thing. So I'll try to link them if I can find them. They weren't in store when I bought them, but now they're in store, so I don't know. What, what is this? Get out of here. So all of this started because I needed some things for Meredith's birthday party and then it just got out of control. I didn't buy any Christmas stuff last year and we don't have a lot of like Christmas decor. I mean, I bought some stuff from the Target dollar spot a few years ago uh, because Meredith was born last year. I didn't go anywhere. I do remember scrolling through my phone Hobby Lobby looking at all their Christmas stuff thinking I should order that. but. I can talk myself out of every purchase, but if I'm in the mood to do shopping and I'm in the store, it's a different story. I can talk myself into pretty much everything. All right, so first thing you see is this amazing sled, but let me act as though I'm Santa Claus and take everything out one by one. Oh my gosh, you're gonna be so excited. There's some gems in here. So oh, this sad looking snowman. <laughs> Oh my, he's like melting and I love him forever. I feel like if I just hot glue his eyeball back on, he's good as new, you know what I mean? I don't know what his purpose is. Oh my gosh, he was on sale $7. Oh, I think I asked for a discount. <laughs> don't be afraid to ask for a discount. The worst thing they're gonna say is no. In this case, they said yes. So hallelujah. Frosty the snowman. I feel like he's a door stopper or something. He's so cute. Love him. Okay, what's next? Something fun, this wrapping paper, obviously this is in no particular order. Normally I take everything out of the bag and separate it to like favorite to like not so cool. But let's be real, everything in this haul is going to be a favorite because it's Christmas. And it's the holiday season. I'm gonna say that about 17 million more times, so prepare yourself. I found wrapping paper. This isn't just any wrapping paper. This is wrapping paper with all of the rain. Can you even see what is happening? I put you on a fold. Okay, it's all the reindeer names. Ah, oh, are you kidding me? Speaking of the reindeer names, let me just shove this on over here real quick. Here comes Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. But do you recall? There's no Rudolph on anything that I found. Actually, I did find coasters with Rudolph. Where is Rudolph? He's the most important. They wouldn't be able to fly through the night without him, without his nose guiding the way. Do you know what I mean? I can't believe they left him out of this. And actually, I didn't even notice. I shared when I got this on my Instagram and so many of you were like, where's Rudolph? And I said, Oh my gosh, I can't believe they left him out. They're playing reindeer games again, and I don't like it. Oh, anyway, <laughs> I'm pretty obsessed with reindeer names. I have always wanted those like Ray Dunn ornaments with the reindeer names on them. I gotta pump the AC down. My knees are sweating. Okay, I don't remember what I was talking about. Reindeer, blah, blah, blah. I also, ooh, wait, what does it look like? It looks like this. Oh my gosh, it smells. Oh my goodness. It smells like cedar, like the real stuff. This was $30. Oh, did I tell you how much this crap was? I wanna say that was, I forgot. It was from Joann's and it was originally $60, but of course I got it. I think uh, it was 40% off at the time that I got it. I wish my house smelled like this. I wish I lived in the woods, a cabin. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. So $30 for this and I just fell in love with it. I saw it on the shelf and I was like, yes. I figure these decorations are gonna stay with me through for years and years and years. Christmas decor is not something that you like get rid of, you know what I mean? Oh gosh, what's in here? Oh, okay, okay. Something heavy. You know what I love about home goods? They actually take care of your things when you buy. Oh, so cute! Santa Claus! How much? He was only $15. For the size that he is, I just think that's so impressive. He is so adorable. 
cute little face. I don't know where I'm gonna put him. I don't know where I'm gonna put any of this stuff. I do plan to decorate soon, soon. It probably won't happen until maybe the week before Thanksgiving or the week after. I'm not, we typically decorate can I speak? We typically decorate the week after Thanksgiving, but where was I going with that? I don't remember. When do you guys decorate? We may do it earlier this year, just I feel like some YouTubers decorated it like it's September. No hate, I'm just saying. I'm not that far into my YouTube game. Oh my heavens, yes, yes, yes. Okay, this is from Hobby Lobby. For years, you guys. Does this make me a proper like YouTuber? That I have matching stockings now? I have matching stockings. Dogging. This is something that I've wanted my entire life and I've always talked myself out of it I don't know why well, you know why uh, money <laughs> It's there stockings are expensive first of all second of all they're extra expensive when you have as many people in a family as we have we have six people and it's ten dollars a stocking luckily i got these hobby lobby 50 percent off so it's ten dollars but i got them for five dollars a piece but i do plan on getting them embroidered because listen this is something that i plan to have again for the rest of my existence of living every single christmas i better pull these out and they better be in pristine condition I wanted to get something that was like classic and not too outlandish you know what I mean we do not have matching stockings I'm pretty sure Avelina has about nine stockings just for herself because every year someone would give her a stocking like you know a Dollar Tree stocking with her name on it or something like that so I thought you know what it is time Kim it's time to get your life together I tell I talk to myself a lot and tell myself that one day maybe I'll have my life together it certainly is not today but I'm a step in the right direction because I finally have matching stockings and you know what I'm thinking maybe I should go back to the store and get one extra just in case you know what I mean? You never know what's gonna happen. Well then I think, well should I buy like two extra just in case if one gets ruined? What if they don't have this same print next year? What if I have another child? We don't know what's gonna happen. I also wonder how much it will be to get these embroidered. At a local shop, I got Wentworth's tote bag for his uh, school embroidered and it was $8 and that's it. So $8 for the rest of your life, I don't know. I just feel like it's great. So I'm excited about that. I might go get one more. Maybe, and then should I get like a few more? Because what if then we have pets? Do pets really need stockings though? They are a part of the family. See, I'm diving too into it. And that's why I've put it off for so long before because I thought, well, our family isn't complete. I'm not buying stockings. <laughs> and audible mumbling and all that stuff. You know what else I got from Hobby Love? Hobby Love. I got a matching tree skirt. Something else I've never had in my life. Welcome to adulthood. Why, why does it look like that? Is that the back? The bottom? Anyway, it matches the stockings. And I just feel like, all right, Kim. One step ahead of the something. All right, what else is fun over here? I got this, this is fun. Uh, still unsure what to do with it. Oh my gosh, did it get ruined? Did I buy it like that? So I found this at Hobby Lobby, $20, but I got it 50% off. It's just a candy cane. It does have a hook on here, although I'm not quite sure what to hang on it. I'm thinking maybe a wreath. I don't have a wreath that size. I'm just gonna turn it around and call it a day. Maybe put it by my front door. I mean, what can you expect for $10? But do you see it? Like it looks like, I don't know. I kind of like that rustic look. It looks homemade. Maybe I can pass it off like, oh, I painted that myself. You know what I mean? All right, we've got Candy Cane Lane going on behind me. Oh my God, I have so many things. Oh, I can't talk about that right now. We'll talk about that in a second. All right, what else did I get from Hobby Lobby? I forgot about this. Like I'm so far away from you. Do you see this? Is this not the cutest thing that you've seen all day so far? We whisk you a Merry Christmas? How perfect is this? I collect whisks. We whisk you. <laughs> Game over. So cute. <laughs> Could have been my toe. Oh my gosh, speaking of my toe. Oh my gosh, it's bruised real bad. I would show you, but like feet are weird. Meredith dropped a fork and it fell on my foot yesterday at dinner time. Oh, I felt it radiate through my entire body. I was like, it's broken. I know it's broken. I'm fine. It's fine. All right, what's in here? Let's see, let's see. I forgot about this. I was just going crazy in the store. Everything I thought was cute, I basically bought. Because you know, the stores like that, you have to buy it and if you don't want it, then you return it, which I rarely return stuff. Even if I don't like it, I just put up with it. Unless it's clothes. Well, even then, I don't know. Anyway, $13. $13 for this cute little uh, wooden snowman. Corn cup pipe and a button nose. No, he doesn't have a pipe or a button nose. However, he does have two eyes made out of wood. 
All right, go hang out with Santi. What else is in here that's in here? Okay. Okay, I have been looking for a platter like this. Do you see this? Do you see this? Do you see this? Handles, two of them. Kinda shallow, but kinda has sides. I love this. How much was this? Ten, the best $10 I've ever spent in my entire life. I, when I'm telling you I've been looking for this for, I don't know, at least a year, I'm not joking. So I'm really happy that I found that. Just in time for the holiday season. And Santa Claus can sell a boy. Every good boy. Okay, I found this at Joann's as well. $20. $20? Are you? I got it 40% off. I thought it was cute. It's like a tin kind of thing. How does the song go? You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming. What's this? Oh my God, oh wait, I, I wanted to share this with you too. So much to share, so little time. So, Avelina, uh, she's in the era of, I don't know, I don't know what. She's at the age where like, everyone thinks that zodiac signs are the bee's knees. That's like the new trend, I guess. So I got her a Capricorn mug, it's a Ray Dunn mug, and on the back it has, I don't know what, some constellation. Is that the constellation for a Capricorn? <laughs> don't have, it looks like the Big Dipper, I don't know. And then, oh it's got some chocolates in there too. She couldn't care less about those. And then I found these close to the checkout. They are like zodiac signs. So I got one for Avelina and one for Eleanor. They were $8 a piece, but inside it comes with like Stones, I guess? What's it? Oh, crystals. Oh, excuse me. So apparently Capricorn is an earth sign and what is Eleanor? Sagittarius is a fire sign? I didn't know that. What sign are you? What's your, what's your sign? I am a Cancer water sign. Don't really know what that means, but uh, that's what I am. Does that mean you cry a lot? Water? I cry a lot. Moving on. Oh yes, yes, yes. $17 for these gems. Do you see this? Dasher, Dancer, Prancer. So stinking cute. I don't know where I'm gonna put them. I just thought they were so pretty. Oh wait, are they? Oh gosh, for a second I thought they were stocking holders. I do not, well do I need stocking holders? I don't think we have enough. We'll figure it out, we'll be fine. I got them from, I got my stocking holders from Target a while ago, a few years ago. All right, moving on. From the Target dollar spot. Oh my gosh, I did get a few books for Meredith. Hello! Who is this, a reindeer? You guys, I told you, like, I'm obsessed with reindeers. Where's his other antler? There it is. Oh, jingle, jingle, little reindeer. Jingle, jingle, little reindeer. The stars are shining bright. Hurry, hurry, little reindeer. Throw the snow so white. Just in time, little reindeer, to pull the sleigh tonight. That's the whole book? What a rip. Four bucks. I thought Meredith might like the reindeer. Also, I will not be reading it to her like that. Creepy, am I right? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I found this and I almost didn't buy it. And then I thought, Kim, when are you ever going to find a whisk that looks like this again? Do you see this? There's like a little Christmas tree inside of the whisk. And then, bonus, it comes with a spatula, which I thought was darling, all for the low, low price of $5.99. Can't even get a whisk off Amazon for $5.99, just saying. And I found these kitchen towels, and these were just so darling. I do wish that they weren't as white as they are, uh, mostly because I actually use my kitchen towels and most of them have stains all over them. Um, you know what, but that's what a washing machine is for, so hopefully I can keep them looking fresh. Bye. All right, what's in here? Oh, yes. Guys, I can't even explain to you. My bedroom has looked like an episode of Hoarders between the P.O. boxes, packages that all of you have been sending me. Thank you so much for that, by the way. And all of this stuff I bought. It's, <laughs> every night I go to sleep and I just feel like I'm in a cave with packages all over me. So I am so happy to be finally getting through this. But now sitting here, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so much. How adorable is this? So it's basically that sign, but in a smaller version, which is exactly what I was looking for. And they had coasters, almost bought them. And then I thought, Kim, you don't use coasters. Come on, come to your senses, all right? Dasher and Dancer, Prancer and Vixen. Such a classic. Oh my gosh, really did it up at Hobby Lob. I bought a couple more things. 
Oh, a festive trivia quiz. So this looks really fun. I thought, you know what? Ooh, it was $7. Oh, but 50% off, I almost forgot. So are you a Christmas snow at all? I don't think I am. I figured I could bring this to even Thanksgiving, just like a fun holiday uh, card game for the family. Qu okay, here's a simple question. Who wrote How the Grinch Stole Christmas? Tell me below. Are you a snow at all? 50 festive questions. All right. And then I always need one of these. Always. Uh, well, not always. Often. A little bench scraper. And this one is festive and it says something cute. A Santa's helper. I'll use it all year long. I couldn't care. Okay, this is cute too. Maybe not as cute as the Merry Christmas sign that I got. The wooden Merry Christmas sign. Definitely doesn't smell as good. This was $10. Uh, it's much cheaper than the Merry Christmas sign, but uh, you know, you know, it's cute, it's cute. All right, what's next? Oh my gosh, yes! Ooh, it's a little close. Oh my gosh, five times the magnification. Okay, listen, I have, okay, first of all, it's a mirror. Hi, I'm pretty sure you can figure that out by now. One, I need it because my eyes really suck and if you have bad eyes tell me if you think about this too when you look in a magnified mirror like this one i mean it's it's intense <gasps> i literally thought that you'd be able to see yourself i'm losing it guys I'm, well let's be real i lost it a while ago okay <laughs> i thought oh yeah they'll be able to see the uh, you know, I, I truly feel like I'm hanging out with you. That's why. So when I look in a mirror like this, that's five times the magnification, I think, is this what normal people see my face looking like? Because if so, I need to start talking to people from f farther away. You know what I mean? It's a lot. I mean, I can see everything. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I got this. Oh my gosh, my earrings are so sick stinking cute. Did I tell you how much these were? $15. That's 15 best $15 I've ever spent and that's a lot on earrings. I would have never spent $15 on earrings ever. But this year I was like, "Kim, you don't have any really cute Christmas earrings and you'll have them for the rest of your life unless you lose them or your kids get a hold of them and break them, which is a very high possibility." But, you know, I can hope for the best. Oh my gosh, I almost dropped it. I got this, so stinking cute. How many times have I said stinking? Probably not as many times as I have said, the holiday season. $8 for this. Am I gonna put anything in it? No, I'm just gonna use it as to, I just thought it was cute. I thought it was cute, okay? I don't need to explain myself to you, it's my money. Okay, okay, okay. I think I shared on my Instagram, maybe I didn't, I can't remember. So I bought 15 each of these ornaments. Oh, I shared it in a shop with me. Yeah, so you guys know that I bought these ornaments if you saw the massive shop with me that I did. Every year we just get a family photo done. Can you see it? Isn't that beautiful? It's unique looking, it's got the year, it's everything that I want, but the picture is a little small. We are getting photos done on the beach. So I kept thinking, I bought these because I love them so much, but then I kept thinking, Kim, if if we're on the beach, like how are the colors gonna look in this? And I don't know, I just overthought it. And then next time I went to Michael's because I needed to get something for Eleanor's school, I got, I, I was looking at the ornaments, had to, and the, I couldn't find these. If you watch my shop with me, you know that this was my second option, but I didn't go with them. And then I found myself second guessing and regretting my decision of getting these and not these. And then I thought, well, last year, Kim, you bought two sets of them because I buy 15 each. They're not cheap, they're pretty pricey especially when you're getting that many of them and I <laughs> I didn't return them and I don't want that to happen again because they're expensive. But I bought them anyway in hopes that I will return the ones that I don't use. We're getting our family photos taken pretty soon so we should I should know what they look like and I don't know what is wrong with me. I love them both. Oh my gosh, $6. I didn't pay $6. They were on sale $5 and then I got like a 20% off coupon. But you can tell me, which one do you like? Number one or number two? You pick, oh my God, I love them both. It's too close to call. I like this one because it has a bigger uh, surface area. And like I just explained, I'm blind. So, you know, the bigger the better. Woo, even more, even more in here. What's in here? Huh, what's in here? What is in here? What's in here? What's in here? What's in here? What's in here? 
that. Oh, cute, cute, cute. Oh my gosh, cute. Oh my gosh, forgot I got these. Apparently this is the best item that was in the sled. Oh my gosh, and you know what I was looking for? I randomly went to Target one morning because my friend was texting me and was like, do you know if they have Christmas stuff? And I was like, I don't know. I guess I'll meet you there because now you have me thinking about it. I didn't get anything important during that trip, but I did get these. What? Christmas trees filled with peanut butter? These are the best. Also, a couple people on my Instagram told me that they have, what are they called? Nutcracker? Oh my gosh, I did not find those, but I did find the trees, so I'm happy about that. You know what else I found? Uh, and my friend actually told me, she's like super trendy, I'm not, but she told me that these were trendy. Have you guys heard about them? If not, I can be your cool friend to tell you about them. Apparently they are hot chocolate bombs. I don't know, I'll share with you. Um, I bought two packages, so six of them, and they even have some that are bigger apparently. This is all they had left at Target, and they didn't even have all of their Christmas stuff up yet, but the box of these empty. And, well, they had four, two, and then my friend got two, so here we go. I don't know what's inside, I'm assuming just hot chocolate. What's so special about these? I don't know. Every, you know, the kids find stuff like that interesting and fun, so. The things you do for the holiday season. All right, I'm not gonna stop. I know some of you are like, okay, Kim. And to that I say, okay. Oh, peppermint hand sanitizer. I thought this is just fantastic. Whoever comes over the house, peppermint. Let's see what it smells like. Oh my gosh, too much. It doesn't smell like peppermint. Oh God, it just smells like hand sanitizer. Okay, I get the peppermint now that it's not dripping all over my body. Cool, 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 cool. How much was this crap? $5, why? I don't, don't ask me. You know what, hand sanitizer is expensive these days. Supply and demand kind of thing. Ooh, okay, this is something that I bought. You see this red thing that I bought? I bought this, I don't know which one I bought first. I think I bought this one first from TJ Maxx. Isn't this darling? So this one was $6. So cute, am I right? It just has Christmas trees all the way around. It's pretty large. I don't plan on putting anything in it. I mean. I could put stuff in it. And then I saw this one, and how much was this one? $6, $8. Which one do you like better? Again, I don't, they're just so pretty. I love the red. Do you guys decorate your house in like reds and greens and traditional Christmas colors, or do you do the whole blush thing or blue tones or, oh my gosh, the, the fun ones with like multicolor? I like those as well. Oh yeah. I have a mountain of just this paper over here. I kind of like it. Might keep it there. Okay, I found this tray, $8 for this. It's not very large, but I thought, oh my gosh, for pancakes in the morning or something cute, you guys know I've been trying to collect one tray for each season. I actually wanna say I found a larger tray. I'm not sure I bought it. I may have talked myself out of it. We're gonna find out. <laughs> I really wonder if you can hear these earrings the whole time because I definitely can. Okay, oh my gosh, it says, oh, Christmas tree on it. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, oh, you know how I like to sing it? Oh, town and bomb, oh, town and bomb. That's, that's the right way to sing it, okay? That's the original classic. Anyway, oh, why wouldn't, why would they just put O? Oh? Why would they do that and not write O-H? Oh, <laughs> Seems a little lazy to me. Anyway, uh, I thought this was really cute. Oh my gosh, it has a red truck. So I guess, Officially, I own something that has the red truck on it, and there it is. Ooh, he do. And then another great purchase. Oh, yes, yes. Oh my gosh, yes, all the way around. Um, okay, so this spoon is pretty boring. It doesn't have anything fun on it. I did see other ones. Uh, oh, okay, first of all, one thing at a time, Kim. Calm down. This was $15 from TJ Maxx. They also had it at Home Goods as well. Different prints. This is the one I went with, and I thought, Kim, you have a festive Halloween bowl. It's time to get a festive Christmas bowl. What else gets you in the holiday spirit? Then baking stuff in Christmas. I mean, this is like the ultimate, right? And then what pushed me over the edge was these cookie cutters. Not that I need any more, but I do plan on having, oh boy, okay, here we go, short story long. I do plan on having like a Christmas 
cookie decorating party at my house. It'll probably just be my kids, which I have plenty of them. And then also some cousins. Uh, we'll just have them over to decorate cookies for Santa. And I love doing that. And I just thought we haven't done it in the past few years. Most of my nieces and nephews are grown. So uh, they used to do it. And now they're at the age where like, they're not really into it anymore. But maybe they'll come over and help with, I don't, I don't know, okay? Short story long is what I said. I wanna have a cookie decorating party. And I saw these and I thought, well, those are darling, even though I have about 75,000 cookie cutters in my pantry. You know, you can never have too many. Well, you can. I don't even really enjoy sugar cookies, but they are easy to decorate. Moving on, it comes also comes with a little rolling pin, and I thought that was cute too. So, I bought it. Ugh. So much. Oh my gosh. We're not even at the bottom of this bin yet. Oh, town and mom. Okay, I also got some candy canes. Like I said, we're getting family photos done. And uh, one of the family photos that I want to get for Christmas cards is, are my kids holding these, like making a heart? I don't know. We're gonna see if it comes out as cute as it does on the Pinterest board. All right, what else is in here? Okay, I got some of these. Oh, a receipt. I've seen a few of those. Gift card boxes are so cute. They were $4 and I just thought, well, Dollar Tree sells these, and I just thought these were so cute. Uh, my t my kids have teachers, and I always like to get them something, and I thought, well, maybe I'll make it look a little cuter. I plan on getting them a gift card because I told you in the beginning of the school year, I read this terrible blog that said, teachers don't like your candles, they don't like your homemade cookie. I think it was just a disgruntled teacher now that I'm talking to more teachers about it. They're like, I love that stuff. You know, and okay, it's so much to say about this as well, and I'll try to cut it down. But our teachers send out like a sheet, like a I'm interested in sheet, but not being like, hey, get me this stuff, more of like the teacher's aides pick their brains and then make a sheet kind of, do you know what I mean? It's like discreet and classy. Does that make sense? Anyway, I do plan on getting them a gift card, but also throwing in just a little extra something for them as well. But I thought these were cute. You know what else I thought was cute? Did, did I, did words come out of my mouth just then? Do you know what else I thought was cute? A lot, apparently. So, much like bowls, whisks, uh, things of that nature, I thought I needed a holiday apron. So that's exactly what I bought. This is the one I went with. And you know what, surprisingly, I have not seen a lot of holiday aprons. So when I saw this one, it was, either this one or a different one, but you know what got me? This one was only $7 and the other one I wanna say was $12.99. And I don't have one that looks like this. What, Mrs. Claus? Nice to meet you. So adorable. I always put off getting these because I thought, oh, $7, just save it. $7 for something that brings you so much joy, Kim? Just buy it. That's what I did. I bought it. Goes over here. All right, okay, are you seeing a theme? I told you I went to these stores because I needed stuff for Meredith's birthday party. Did I even tell you that in the beginning of this? It's been so long, I don't remember. That was my mission. Uh, do you see what happened? So I ended up buying mostly Christmas stuff. I haven't even gotten to her birthday stuff, which I think even some, most of it is in the um, my room because it's not interesting, it's not that fun. If you do wanna see, I, I might, vlog her birthday prep. I haven't decided yet, I don't know. I did get one of these because I told you guys I wanted to do like a cookie decorating party. So I found one at Target and one at Hobby Lob. So this one was $4, oh well, it was $8, but I got it half off and it had gingerbread men on it and Christmas trees and I just thought it was cute and festive, cute. And then I saw this one and again, you guys are gonna have to tell me, should I keep both? Should I do one or the other? Last year, I think, we, or not last year, I don't, one year when we were cookie decorating, we did it on like a Halloween table mat and I was just like, this isn't right. So this year I thought, you know what? This is what I'm going with. I think I'm leaning more toward this one and it feels like, look at the difference in thickness. You know what I mean? Are they the same 60 by 84 and this one is, oh, 52 by 70. It is a little bit shorter, but I don't, I don't know. How much was this crap? The Wonder Shop. I wanna say this was five or eight dollars. It wasn't that much. Oh my gosh, okay. Is that all the Christmas? Oh, this is the one I was looking for. Oh, it's much smaller than I thought. Okay, 
I printed something out for Meredith's birthday party and I thought, oh, I can put that in the frame that I got for, anyway, this is the frame I was thinking of, but it's much smaller than I thought. It's a four by six, but look how pretty and rustic this frame is. I did get it on clearance. It was $5.49. They had a lot of frames on clearance. Uh, you know, I just thought this, was, oh my gosh, the original price, did you peek that? $22, who would spend $22 on this? Not me, I'll tell you that. Oh, you know what got me? Wait, what is this? Oh my gosh, okay, my kids love word searches. And uh, Eleanor specifically has a word search app on her iPad that she plays with all the time. But when we do like uh, screen free time and she wants to do a word search, I don't have any for her. Or I'll print some off of uh, online for her. Anyway, I found this whole book of just word searches and I thought Eleanor is going to lose her stinking mind. And it was only a couple of dollars. Two dollars, and I got it half, I should have bought more. One dollar for this, and I'm, I know the Dollar Tree has stuff like this, but I feel like this has more than what the Dollar Tree has to offer, I'm just saying. Okay, moving on, I did find some mugs. Wait, wait a minute, am I missing a bag? I might be missing a bag. I, well, I guess we'll find out. I had some stuff in my closet, some stuff was right next to my bed, it's just a problem. That's a problem. I bought way too many of these mugs. <laughs> so you guys know Meredith's birthday party is bee themed and this one says, wait a minute. Oh, okay, it says the same thing on both sides. I thought, did I buy the same mug? Cause I bought two of them. Be humble, be kind, which is, oh my gosh, one of my favorite songs of all time, Tim McGraw. And then this one says, stay free little bee. I just thought they were so singing cute. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these, but I figured I can keep them for the rest of her life. They're gonna be broken by the time she can drink anything out of a mug, probably. But I got high hopes. Four dollars a piece. I guess I'm a mug collector because that's not all. I also got this one. I had to, I had to. It's like the universe was speaking to me. Queen B, what? And this I can eat soup out of. Ooh, $8, it did come with this. A little wooden figurine that said queen of the hive. Worth it, <laughs> I guess. Uh, $8, I just thought, you know what? She's only gonna turn one, one time in her life. Better live it up. And it's not just your ordinary birthday party decor. I can use this for, ouch, my foot. I really think I broke it. Even more. What was that noise? Oh, was it my earrings? <laughs> I'm telling you, it's so loud, but worth it. Fashion is worth it. <laughs> okay, I needed some, well, okay, what I needed was some bee-themed paper, because I need to make uh, a few things for her birthday party. Couldn't find them anywhere, but I did find this bee fabric. So it's this bright yellow with the bees on it, and then I found this a little more muted tone with bees on it, and I just thought these were so pretty, and they're pretty reasonably priced for fabric. I don't know, I always feel crafty when I'm buying fabric. Ooh, just kidding. Oh, okay, this is not, just don't worry about that. Okay, four, $4 for this book as well. I wonder, you know what, I feel like this book has more written on the backside of it than it does in the actual book. That's so funny, a bee book. You know, I've just been trying to stock up on books for both uh, Meredith and Wentworth. I think we'll enjoy this. This is probably more Wentworth's age right now. Oh my gosh, this sells for $9, but I got it from for four from TJ Maxx. Be my friend. Oh no, please help, squealed Poppy. It's going to sting me. I should do book reading things on YouTube. Poppy was so scared, she tried to run away and hide but she quickly grabbed a jar instead and trapped the bee inside. People would be terrified. <laughs> my poor kids. Stop reading, you're terrifying my child. Okay, you know what I wasted money on? All of this. <laughs> I got the And Oh my gosh, were these expensive. How much was this? $15. I still can't wrap my mind around it. I knew they were $15, but I, in my head, I thought they were 50% off. Okay, they have a cute little thing right there. My kids are gonna wear these like just a handful of times in Florida. But again, their hands aren't gonna grow that much. They could wear them for years upon years. Um, I did get one 40% off because Hobby Lobby always has a coupon. 
but I, I bought one full price. They have the smart tip on them. You know what? I'm just trying to justify the fact that I spent way too much money on a pair of gloves for my children. Oh my gosh, when did my camera turn off? Well, I don't know when it turned off, but I was explaining to you that I spent my life savings on these stupid mittens and my kids better be happy about it. They probably won't be. Finally, I bought something for Meredith's birthday. I needed yellow ribbon. I don't know, guys. I'm just trying to make it fancy. I'm just trying to live my life. You know what I mean? Is that everything? Oh my God, it's not everything. Hold on. Am I going overboard with the bee theme because I bought milk and honey soap? Do you know who uses our bathroom whenever we have guests over? The kids. Adults, I feel like they never use our, oh, you, you know what? <sighs> so much to say about that, but I'll keep it inside. Anyway, milk and honey. Does it, what does it smell like? Oh, uh, it smells good. All right, I'm happy about this purchase, but you know what else? Uh, it was $5, so not that great. And this was 6 not so great. But it is holiday scented cranberry and vanilla. Oh, oh, that smells good. And it smells like fancy, you know what I mean? It doesn't smell like dial soap, because that's what my kids use. <laughs> I have the fancy raw soap, the watermelon soap in my bathroom. The best soap, love, love, love it. Uh, but when we have guests over, I always like to throw this and pretend like we're fancy. We're not fancy. All right, oh my gosh, that's everything. But the main attraction is this sleigh, you guys. Oh, my feet, oh, I can't get up. Pins and needles, oh. Gotta get the blood back in my feet. Been sitting on them for about two hours. This, oh, this sleigh. What, isn't this the cutest thing you've ever seen? I'll give you a 360 view of it. You guys, I, oh, I wonder if I can get inside of it. <gasps> Am I gonna break it? Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I hear those sleigh bells ringing and ting, 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 a ling, ting. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together. Let me put my knees down. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, let's go. Let's look at the snow. I should have done the entire haul sitting in this sleigh. <laughs> I love this sleigh so much. It was a pretty penny, and I would have never bought this before. Oh, you know what? Wentworth ripped the tag off. It was $60. But I thought, again, I'm going to have it forever. And it's good quality. It's holding my body up, you know what I mean? What more can you ask for? And the third reason was because, like I said a million times, we're getting family photos taken and I feel like even though they're on the beach I'm still getting Christmas photos taken so I thought maybe I can bring this as a prop and it would be cute stick all the kids inside or maybe just one at a time I mean if it's holding me it can probably hold all, all of my kids at once oh my god this is amazing amazing I almost bought a bigger one but it was black and I thought well that's just not my aesthetic if I'm gonna have something jolly in my house it better bring me as much joy as this thing brings me joy oh Hook up the reindeer. Elves, this is fantastic. I literally should have done the entire haul like this. All right, well, I guess that's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. I hope you enjoyed all of the chaos that just ensued. If you did, subscribe, put a little happy in your day, and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>